Hello everyone, you are now listening to After Scrum with Ada and Ami. Here we talk about what is new, what's interesting, and what you would have considered difficult to test. Let's go! Hello guys, welcome, welcome back, back once again. again. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of After Scrum with Ada, Ami, and Esther. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have, have with us today. today. So let me just tell you who we have with us. Mm-hmm. We have a running way. <laughs> our running way social media and that. Yes. We have been having our social media. This is the place behind. After, after Scrum. Yes. Well, after Scrum. Mm-hmm. On Twitter. And Instagram. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Facebook as well. Yes. Yes. On social media. Mm-hmm. And she did tell us why she ready. Yes, that's what she and did. And <laughs> she the only very good thing about it is that she's coming back with good news. So we allow her yeah. to have her. Mm-hmm. Yes. So and that she can also explain to us why else she's giving us good news. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So hi guys, we have a guest. Yeah. And this episode we are all about like positivity and once you get how to make money, you know, we'll be telling you guys things about doing this, how you can make money in tech. Mm-hmm. Today, we, are, we have someone that has made money. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, please introduce yourself. Yes. Okay, my name is Abba for Cosy Search. Mm-hmm. I'm a product designer and I'm a copper. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. In case the resemblance is not resembling, because we're going out loud. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. So, yeah, I think the sunny was a dead giveaway. Yeah. So, anyway, tell us more about, like, you know, how was uh, camp? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. When I went, I just went there. At first, I was like, nah, I'm not going to wear white and white first day. So what? I finished my registration. Mm-hmm. Next day, I carried my file. That's mm-hmm. what we do. Carry our files to wear more Because okay. we saw them already doing parade and matching up. And I said, this car, I'm going to be able to do it. I'll just mm-hmm. come and I will go. So carry our file, walk up and down, move to go to where they are doing registration. As we see that we are doing that. Let me tell you, people that we have in the office, that's it. So carry our file, walk up and down. Or to where the soldier notice, we mm-hmm. don't have to respect ourselves. Wait, 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 don't understand. So you guys are really registered. So you pull now. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not know that this was the format. So that will allow you to actually like not wear white and white because they are like, are you serious? Oh, wow. <laughs> you have told me this in my way. <laughs> okay. So uh, while you are in camp, something interesting happened. Right. Tell us what led up to that. Mm-hmm. So um, when I was in camp, my platoon actually, they are like most serious people. What? Platoon 5. Platoon 3. Yeah. Very, very most serious. Class class five. Five. Unfortunately, our yeah. home was actually on serious. Mm-hmm. And our person is very low, maybe is key. Mm. And as I like, the benefit of it. Yeah. And but to me, there's no benefit though. You have to give every activity to mm-hmm. report, okay, this was the other day where yeah. mm-hmm. so that you know where to take action. Yeah. And yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So I was actually I feel like other people hit you because yeah. of that. Yeah. <laughs> they actually called me a fake game. Because most of the time I try to run away. <laughs> I used to run away. So you have this runaway thing in your in your spirit. <laughs> well, when when he actually caught me one time, he was like, he's going to put me in bad room. I said, mm-hmm. ah, no, it's not for me. I have to step up yeah. and show my face. Because I I already said before the time was for me to but unfortunately yeah. I have to show my face. Well that other plans. Yeah, so then it started with the cultural competition first. Then I was like, our platoon, we had more Yoruba people and mm-hmm. we were dancing, people dance. And Yoruba dance, cultural dance, to me, not look like Yoruba dance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, like, that, that Moana dance thing that. Oh my like, god! When they are entering, I was like, I had to do them, I was like, okay, you guys have more Yoruba people. That mm-hmm. can't you do Yoruba dance? Yeah, I like Yoruba dance, especially mm-hmm. Baka. Mm. That the whole hand movement and everything, I like it. Mm. But Just from her hand movement, you can tell that she's a dancer. <laughs> As well, they were like, no, no, it's actually cost a bit. 
confusion. Mm-hmm. Then in that said, okay, we'll have to go to the cultural and the Yoruba and Igbo. Uh-huh. So as I was pushing the Yoruba people to dance, I actually did not want to dance, but then mm-hmm. I dragged me. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm going to be pushing from the sideline. So, I, so mm-hmm. I actually joined them and mm-hmm. danced on the street. So, after mm-hmm. the whole dance and everything, I, I came back after social gathering. I was very tired. I just let me scroll through my phone to so 11. Mm-hmm. I, and I saw my assistant platoon leader, Phil Copper. I saw a message on the group that. This um there's access premium like access entrepreneur competition mm-hmm. for coppers that because each class is to bring out three people that who are the three people going I mean, I, maybe I saw that message the first thing that came to my mind is these platform people they will not come out for anything and they are very very lazy what was this and I said okay let me go for it and I'll miss it happen. so you sacrifice yourself as a savior not that you're interested exactly <laughs> I think it's very important not that you're interested no, at first, at first, mm. I was like, since nobody is going to come out, mm. I already, in my mind, I was already determined that nobody is going to come out. Maybe that the dying needs to not start seeing people, people mm. coming out. So I now messaged her. And that was around 11 to 12. She now asked me, okay, what is your business plan? I said, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was, the, what was the theme of the, yeah? Huh? Mm. It's just to promote um coppers okay any business plan they have to okay. see like the one that is more beneficial so okay. that is worth investing in mm. okay yeah. so, so basically access uh, access bank was sponsoring like the competition and then anybody had like yeah, access bank they actually sponsored in not just in um Enugu, okay. in Abuja, Kush River okay and okay so for the competition mm. they have Three people, mm. there are ten classrooms, mm. three from each classroom, that's 30 yes. people. Then, out of these 30 people, you submit your business plan, okay. you pick the top 10. Mm. Okay. So, the first person gets a millionaire, wow. the second person gets, sorry, out of the 10 people now, mm. you have five people, top five. Okay. Top five is think the yeah, project, okay. defend what the business plan is submitted. Mm. So, um, the, but the price is now the first gets a million, mm. the second 700k, mm. the third is mm, the third is 400k, okay. the fourth is mm, 250, okay. and the fifth 150. Then from the sixth to the tenth, mm. they get 100k. Okay, each. that's interesting. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's very fair compensation. Yeah, very yeah. Okay, so wait, do, uh, does the business plan that you have have to be like? Because I know that there are some people that are coppers, but like they've already like you know established themselves in their fields, right? So it doesn't have to be like a business that you are like thinking about doing after service or something that you already have. It can be something you are thinking about after okay. service, and it can also be something that you just establish. Okay. Like to support yourself yes, and add more to okay. make it grow. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, so you have to do the business plan. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. you have to sacrifice yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I sacrifice myself for the same social life. I should send her a business plan. Mm. I was like, business plan. I had to have a whether I want to see business That's plan. Mm. But I just remember, remember uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. I just finished up that science. Mm. What's the chat GPT? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I do 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 you. And I sent it to her. Mm. So give me give me an example of a good prompt, prompt. that you yeah. use to charge GPT to generate something like, like that. that. Like that. Mm. Okay. You know, when you want chat GPT to generate something for you, it has to be specific mm-hmm. for what you want. Mm-hmm. So I was like, um, and can you write a business proposal for me? Mm. Um, or write a business proposal for Classy. That's the name of my business. My mm-hmm. Mm. My app, sorry. Mm. So, Classy, I don't, from there, like Classy is a lecture activity management system mm. that does this and this and that. Mm. So, you just put it into 
or as far as I can be like write a business proposal for me. Mm. That that only that. Mm. Then it should not bring out steps like what you need to like to just be like you write executive summary, this one and that. Yeah. So I can, you can have based on what it has given you. Yeah. You can have text like, like write summary based yeah, on this uh, Yes, I don't point to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's <laughs> and then it gives you what you want. Yeah. So I just that was that was not what I did the first time. The first one was just a short one. So mm-hmm. for the second one, because mm-hmm. after I submitted to her, the yeah, first one was like an executive summary. This first one was it's not just a short. It's not up to the page. Just very okay, easy. okay. It's like a proposal, proposal then. Just for the, for my class for them to read that. Okay, yeah. okay, yes. okay, okay. Then we now had the we called the top thirty. We had the class where they told us what they what and what they expected. They gave us a PDF. Mm-hmm. So they run this PDF now. I'm like we have to submit it on Sunday, mm-hmm. and I'm like I'm doing parades. Mm-hmm. There's no time. You always you match our stuff. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> you can match. You mm-hmm. come back. Mm-hmm. You want to rest. Any small time in town, it's like that time. Mm-hmm. God, please let me sleep. Yes. That's that what the time is mm-hmm. to for. But I'm not like how do I want to sit down and come and start a business plan? I'm not. I'm not studying business. I don't mm-hmm. study accounting. I don't really know much in, much about it. So mm-hmm. based on what they explain now, still that Charlie is that actually works the business plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so mm-hmm. I now based on the list that they gave the target customer and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So I told that Chad GPT to write this for me. Mm-hmm. Gave it my target. I actually have to give it my own figures and everything. Mm-hmm. So the truth is as I edited some things. Yeah. Then yes. I was like I told my sister and I told my brother that okay I'm doing for I'm this. this. That they should help me with proposal. Mm. And I said, ah, don't worry, don't worry, it's coming. My yeah. mother actually is, a, is, a, is actually a very busy person. Mm. But, and now, I sent what I generated from ChatGPT to mm. him mm. for him to go through it because I know he knows much about it mm. than me. Mm. So, um, unfortunately, it was very busy. And I needed to submit to 10 a.m. Mm. on Sunday. They yeah. had not gotten back to me. Mm. So I just had to go through. My sister's friend, that also Rodash Rollins. Thank you very much. Shout out to Rollins. So, 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 so he actually gave me some points of where I should make correct corrections that I just said. Mm-hmm. So I made it, and I went to go and I went to um, the cyber cafe to for them to edit the whole. Okay. It was actually rough, and I sent it to them. Mm-hmm. So once I sent to the one, like ah, time has been extended to eleven. Okay. So okay, when well, yeah. I'm taking my time, so to actually like work on, on it, to work on it. Yeah, so, it was all good. So I came out on the among the top five. So I was the fourth on the list. Yeah. And I came fourth on the list. The first thing that came to my mind is, can I still become the number one? Because yeah. they've been telling me that I should be by the prize money. Mm-hmm. I should be by the prize money. So okay, your platoon, like in your ah! platoon. Not just my platoon, no, my mm-hmm. sister, my brother. Okay. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody said I should be my the prize, I should mm-hmm. be the prize money home. Mm-hmm. So I actually had to ask people, mm-hmm. even I asked my platoon inspector if it's possible yeah. for me to actually Go from be from fourth to number one. So, so what what did it take for like you know? Like, like after, after because you guys have submitted the business proposal, so what was the next step? They, okay. grade, they went through all the thirty proposals mm-hmm. and graded it. Yes. So the top ten, mm-hmm. then the top five, based okay. on the proposal you submitted, you mm-hmm. have to defend your proposal. Why did okay. you do something? You know, being in that, that top ten, being top ten mm-hmm. out of thirty people, yeah. it's still like it means that your business plan was actually Top five. Mm. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. So, so the, the next step was to defend the. Yeah, the next step was to defend the proposal. So in front of like everybody in camp in front of or everybody in camp to okay. assess. Okay, okay, okay. They okay. come as judges. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. To judge. Mm. So as then that was when I now called my brother. I was like, okay, this one's going on. No, mm. I don't know business and stuff like that. I said, mm. okay, he's going to help you with the slide. 
Okay. What is there no projector and then uh, it's no. slides. So yeah. there's a slide I have already for that design. Mm. I sent for because I actually designed the whole product. So mm. I sent it to him. Mm. Yeah. To help me change it from normal presentation mm. to like a business model that mm. I can show them. Okay. Yeah. This this slide that you saying that you had before, um is it like something that you've have you ever had a competition like that before? Mm-hmm. No, it's just the project, uh, just the, like showcasing my project. Okay. Oh, yes. Kind of like a documentation. Yes. Mm. So I sent, he told me to send it to him, that I would edit it for him, mm. to hear about I sent it to him. So I waited that the nights before, I've not gotten anything. Mm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the before the I've not gotten anything. Yeah. So the morning, in the morning, mm-hmm. during parade, when we were training, that I got to, I said, oh, God, help me. <laughs> <laughs> all that I read it, all that, all that I already know what they want to do. Okay. I'm just getting this slide now. Mm-hmm. What's my fit? Yeah. <laughs> so actually, I was like, okay, regardless, it's still me that did the whole project and yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. So basically, the night before, I actually spoke with a friend also, Rollis, where he told me that I should focus on numbers and mm. he asked me some things, which I now, okay, went to check back at there about, because I'm not a numbers person. Mm. I just know that, okay, this is going to be a very, very good product. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is it. Mm. So he was like, I should focus on the numbers and everything. I went there, the first person presented, the second person, the first person presented, you know, she's the first, so yeah. there's actually this stage five that yeah. comes with being the first, being the first person. Yeah. So the second went, the whole question, I was like, oh my God, I'm nervous. I turned back to my platform, I said, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. After presenting, they asked you questions. Yeah, they asked you questions. Okay, okay, okay. So, and then that's my classroom people. She said, calm down, calm down, take water. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me water to drink, so calm down. Okay, yeah. I calm down mm-hmm. then. So my turn, I went to the stage. I was speaking. I actually defended the project. But when I was speaking, I was actually shaking. But I, I know myself in front of crowd. I would definitely, I've already told myself that I know that I would definitely shake as I'm talking. Yeah. But I know what is coming out from my mouth. Yeah. But I will that shaking must be there mm. but i'll still be giving you what you want Once, yeah. and everything you want to hear from you mm. so at some point the, even the um camp coordinators and everything the camp director she looked at me and she was like calm down <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like the fact that despite the fact that you're nervous it didn't stop you from actually like going to taking yourself out mm. there. no it didn't it didn't stop me mm. so at some point you know then I did, then I now told me that it's obvious that I'm nervous mm. that it, that he's going to ask me question now. So on that to know if I'm the one that actually wrote it and mm. stuff like that. Then he asked me if I was the one that did it. I said I'm a product designer. I was the one that designed the whole product mm. and everything. Mm. I don't write code. Mm. I have my colleague yes. writing the code. Mm. So then he asked me about um, the host game platform mm. and how much it, to know if I actually, no, <laughs> actually I was, did my research. Yeah. I was done as did my research. <laughs> <laughs> they asked me the host game prize. I, mm. I told him the host game prize. I was like, okay, okay. Mm. So I'm, questions are coming left and right, left and right. Look at the camp director. Like, they should come down and yes. they ask me so much questions more than other people. <laughs> Like other people, so yeah. um, unfortunately, because of the nervousness of the first person, they were like, uh, she could not defend the, what, she what she wrote. They were like, she had to they disqualify her, oh. so oh, she no. now became the tenth. Then the sixth person mm. became the fifth. So wow! Yeah. After seeing that the first person was disqualified, I designed the product. No, yeah. no I was so I was that, scared. Like, oh, wait, so she did, was she like disqualified immediately yeah, after she was gone, or was it in the end? Yeah. So that's what she said. Like once she finished mm. speaking, mm. as far as she couldn't defend, defend what they said. So at that point, mm. they Oh my god! So that's that was the that made the whole environment. Yes, tense. It was tense. I actually felt 
tense, mm. but I know within myself mm. that you can ask me anything about this thing, yeah, I can tell you anything yeah. about it. Mm. So that. Mm, that's is a very so does this uh, access when uh, uh this confusion is like a like everybody that goes to camp they actually have like is it is it like a yeah I know camp is no more yearly two times yeah I know there's like uh, there's like batch A and batch B now yeah that's so is it exactly so is it every time like for every set or was it just like your set was special somehow I'm not sure in every set that okay. actually happens because okay. there's during this side, this skill and yes. mm. classes, mm. there's someone that came and talked about what he is not so funny and stuff mm. like that. So during his set, I think mm. it was um, a year before, I didn't know did that batch be or there about it mm. come. Okay. Yeah. So I think maybe, in, I really don't know how yeah, this was. Mm. It just happened that it is when you're in mm. Exactly. But I also think that even if like, Maybe, maybe there are also like other competitions like that. So, so I'm saying, saying like for other people that are maybe plan to go to camp, yeah, it can also look out for yeah, this type of things. I think there are other competitions. Exactly. Yeah. Because as there was a picture I saw of, I think Unity Bank did yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's this is so very like interesting. After they asked you question and then the last person presented, they what happened next? So mm. Then there was a break when the judges went to camp calculate the results mm. and came back with the results. So what made me actually confident that I was going to be about among the top five books because I was the only person. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Oh I don't my god. I was, I was, like I was the only person with this tech idea, but mm. I felt like I was the only person with this tech idea. Yeah. yeah. So mm. I have to <laughs> We all just had like a fiscal product. Most people were actually there was family, yeah. there was photography, yeah. and everything. Okay. Yeah. Do you like it surprising because yeah. you think that there's so much tech awareness, mm. and it's surprising that you're doing it. Do you know, I thought yeah. that most people would be coming from, from yeah. Mm. So it's really amazing to know. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually like surprised. Yeah. <laughs> so, how do you feel? Who was just involved? Was it, I mean, now, now this is the time when you out yourself. <laughs> Who did you call I, I, first? I think it was. I think this was my brother at China because mm-hmm. actually with the based on his numbers and everything, yeah. the slide, even if I wasn't able to present it, mm-hmm. yeah, it actually helped me. Mm-hmm. So I actually called him first. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So like is there anything you can say that you think you did different that made you order? I mean you had like issues like competition that when mm-hmm. you're trying to get information from outsiders and it's taking time to come. But do you think mm-hmm. there's anything different? That helps you gain the advantage. Mm. Yes. The main thing is, I think when you are pitching, you mm. have to like give them what they want. Mm. I do know what they want. want. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy to know what they want, but the main thing is that they want to know mm. if you actually know what, what they're you? talking about. Yeah. If you can't come, even if it's not your pitch. Mm. Or even if you're not the one that wrote the business plan, mm. but if you can convince them that it's your idea, you that set it up, and yeah. you know what you're talking about, you know what you wrote. Yeah, it's actually a win for you. Mm. That was actually what got the first person disqualified because mm. she couldn't convince them that yeah. this is my work. Okay, mm. that's interesting. That's yeah. very interesting. Mm. So, oh, okay, so, now, so, 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 like, like, <laughs> now you, you won the first prize, and yeah. Now, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because people go to camp and then it's all about the allowance. But then you mm-hmm. have there for the next three years allowance. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, <laughs> so, so what? What? Like, I know that like, you are representing your platoon, right? Do your uh, like the platoon? Every other person in the platoon. The fact that you won, just the fact that okay, the person from platoon three won is what they get, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And thank you for, <laughs> for choosing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh good. So, like, when mm-hmm. someone is writing, now that you've experienced like writing a business plan mm-hmm. and Going out there on competitions and yeah. everything. What what advice would you give someone that is writing a business? I know that yes, thank you, Chajit, because most of the work. But then now you have an idea of okay, this is what um, business plan should look like. This is what it's like. I think you revised it. Mm. Okay, so what advice would you give to someone that is trying to like write
or the person is trying to put themselves out there and go for competitions like this? What I'll say is the, the main target is market. They want to know your market size mm. and like how you generate income and everything. They want to know if it's something profitable. Yeah. And they want to know whether you are a you like think about the future, whether it's long term or short term goals. Well, like, uh, yes, yes. I think that usually what people don't need to understand is like just like you said oh about the fact that you, you want to know that okay this is a good idea, right? But numbers play a huge role into how like apart from like the fact that the competition, right? Numbers play a huge role into like how profitable a business is. So what are like the uh, percentage of people that you are saying that would be willing to even use this platform to even start with? How what percentage of people this would be willing to pay? For this and this and like back back it up with like uh, uh, research that you've already done yeah, exactly. and that's also aspect. Like like the app is sorry the app is classy. Mm. It's a lecture activity management system. So my main target now for this app mm. is schools, not just schools, universities, not just universities. Mm. Now private universities because I know like, oh, that's that, nice. that's okay. I actually went to a private university and they asked you to pay for something, you must pay for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So when when you have this target audience now and you know that if you pitch your product to them, mm -hmm. they will like it yeah. and they will pay. They have no hard to let them pay for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So that's why the numbers. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and it's very good that you drew from like, you know, something that you have like a sound knowledge of yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly because you're like if i was in this particular scenario right this is what i would do just like with the the project you're working on i have to actually like because i know that okay we're no more in school i actually have to like ask my brothers because i'm like okay this boy actually like the people that will use this then so how would you use this product because there's this thing about people in tech building in a void and thinking that i have it's a fantastic project. Yes, it's fantastic to you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But then, this is what the people actually want. want. And yeah. this is how they actually want to use it. Mm, yes. As a way, product design, product research, blah, mm. blah, blah. Oh, yes, yeah, exactly. And it's, it's really amazing that you went out there, you, you came from the fourth position. Yeah. You came from rescue from. <laughs> No, 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 you, 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 you've you gone fast. She came from not even wanting them to know that she was in camp. Because they rescue her. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, from here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, basically, like, find the way to do that. Yeah. It's very, very um, interesting. Actually. Yeah. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I'll be saying it soon. Thank you so much so, for like, coming. Um, can you tell us, is there anything for Classy? I yes. So people write this and, and then just win the prize money and then disappear. Yeah, exactly. no, that's, I don't think that's what she wants. We're writing the course, so by God's grace, mm. we plan to push it to market next year. Okay. That's the case the market. So, so, so that means that your, your school will be like the first. Yes, I'll go market. Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, so, so what 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 is the plan for this morning, right? Like you guys are going to put it back into office, you put it into plastic, and to go towards which are you not like that? It's this okay. <laughs> <laughs> I we put it towards marketing or um paying I'm paying for domains and things like that, yeah. right? That's interesting because it kind of like takes away like the burden of having to pay for those things. Yeah. Because when you are starting out, you are thinking where is the money going to come from? Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. Um, I'm a little stuff. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you can't be this part and you can't be care for us. Yes. Um, so, what, what advice do you give people that are going to camp right now? Yeah. Exactly. When opportunity not store up from it, you can't get it. <laughs> you think you're not ready. That's a good advice. Yes, I, I think, think so. Because so. a lot of people feel like they're not ready for something. Because okay. most people actually were like, they wish they had gone us, just yeah. like I mean, do you go outside and pick on me now? If there's a tree that you want me on there, please just tell me where it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it's very important to put yourself out there and do things. Yeah. Whether you're very prepared or not. I mean, even if you don't, you will still be not ready. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
how do you get the experience? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so we are looking forward to seeing class the way the launches. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. And this one millionaire is going to be like in this amount of money class is going to be making. Yeah. Amen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't forget us in your paradise. No <laughs> All right, thank, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you um, for hanging out with us. And yeah, don't forget to like. <laughs> yes, and then, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, leave the comments, yeah. follow, you can talk to her. Yeah, yeah. so Twitter media. Twitter media. Just Twitter, that's Kosi underscore Abafor, A B A F O R. All right, guys, you paid it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, See you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.